An Anderson County couple is being evicted from their low income apartment because of poor housekeeping. You know, three times they were asked to remove the clutter from their two bedroom unit. WAT6 on your side reporter Don Dare says the couple has to move out by tomorrow, Don. Well, that's right, Bo. We got a call late last week from Deborah Smith's concerned son. Deborah and Carl Smith have hit hard times. Both are disabled and in their 60s. Carl had once been a truck driver, she a warehouse worker. Now, however, they're unable to work. We've been here almost 17 years at this one place. This is the only home we know. But Deborah Smith is losing her home. Despite feeling bad, Deborah wanted to talk with us. So did her husband, Carl. Right now, we don't. We don't have anywhere to go. Carl and Deborah are being evicted. He's disabled, and so is she. Together, they draw $1,400 a month in Social Security. They live in a two-bedroom, low-income apartment. It's part of the Rocky Top Development Complex. The units are operated by the La Follette Housing Authority. Well, it happened about October of last year. Mrs. Smith says that's when they failed their annual inspection by the Housing Authority. I uh, said they had too much clutter here. Too much clutter? Yep. And they also come in and took pictures at our closet. They said we had too much here. So we started cleaning out and getting rid of things. And it wasn't enough. This is a letter from La Follette Housing Authority in January. It says, specifically, you have violated your lease by not complying with housekeeping requirements. It didn't matter what we did, it still wasn't up to their uh, standards. Not good enough. Right. They came back a second time? Yes. To inspect the place? Yes. It's a fire hazard, that's what they told us. A fire hazard? Yes. So they came back yet another time? Yep. They came back exactly about three times altogether. And you failed the third time? Yes. Carl said they tried cleaning up but couldn't move very fast. I told him, I said, now I said, we had to work a while, we had to sit down on cover pain. At the authority office in February, there was a grievance hearing. They said they'd let us know what the decision was. What was the decision? The decision was that uh, we had to move. The grievance report says the Smiths have had more than enough time to correct the issues that have been addressed since October 2022. We went to the La Follette Housing Authority where we talked with housing executives. We were told the case went to court. A judge ruled the couple's lease was terminated for poor housekeeping and $1,300 in back rent. To catch up, the Smiths sent this rent check in March, but it was returned. Carl has had a knee replacement, both hips replaced. He's also had a stroke. Although she's never smoked, Deborah depends on oxygen to breathe normally. Due to poor mobility, she uses a wheelchair. Doctors have sent letters to the housing authority asking that the couple's eviction be reconsidered. You must vacate by May 23rd. You have until May 24th at 8 a.m. to have all of your belongings out and your keys turned in to the Rocky Top office. I don't have no hard feelings. It, I know that, you know, everybody's got a job to do, but I just want a chance. A chance. Now, we talk with Deborah's son, Daryl Kearney, who believes he's found an apartment for Carl and his mother in Oak Ridge. He should know something definite by tomorrow, he said. And Daryl told us he'll do his best to help them move, but we'll need assistance. Now, Six on Your Side also contacted the Area Agency on Aging. They're hoping to put a plan together to delay the eviction, but the Housing Authority would have to be in agreement. We were told any legal remedy at this point is unlikely. And Bo and Lori will see how it goes. All right, Don, thank you. Just a, a sad situation yeah. all the way around. Yeah, let's hope that apartment turns out in Oak Ridge that Don I was hope mentioning. So. Uh, if you have a consumer question for Don, take a moment and send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also give him a call. You see the phone number right there on your screen, 865-633-6923.